What's going on, guys? My name is Julian Young. I'm the host of the Blockchain Brief, where every episode we are interviewing innovators and founders in the blockchain and crypto space. Today, I'm very excited to have Matt Liu, the co-founder of Origin Protocol, with me. Now, Origin is a protocol for creating sharing economy marketplaces using the Ethereum blockchain and IPFS. Matt, it's great to have you here. Great to be a part of this, Julian. So let's jump right into it, right? Like you and your team have quite some knowledge in the space and have done some really incredible things in your past experiences. Why don't you dive in a little bit about your background for you as well as Josh? Yeah, so uh, my name is Matthew Liu and my co-founder is Josh Fraser. Uh, we've both been serial entrepreneurs for the better part of the last decade. Uh, Josh, my co-founder, has done three venture-backed startups prior to working with me on Origin. Uh, I was a fairly early employee at YouTube, third product manager there, um, pre-acquisition and spent a number of years at Google. Uh, thereafter, I was also vice president of product at a couple other startups that were also successfully acquired. Uh, but more importantly, Josh and I have been working together for the past several years and have built several profitable um, bootstrap businesses prior to origin. We've been able to develop a very strong working relationship uh, and have been able to really figure out how to execute together. So this isn't our first venture together. Um, we've both been involved in cryptocurrencies and blockchain for a while. I participated in Ethereum crowd sale in 2014 and have been closely following and contributing to the space since then. Uh, Josh uh, was fortunate to um, start mining his first Bitcoin in 2010, although he didn't actually keep up with that practice uh, throughout the years. Uh, so now we're getting back to the game uh, the past couple of years. Amazing stuff. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the problem that you're <coughs> looking to solve and how big is the market, right? Like obviously I had experience in the sharing economy prior to this, so I can completely relate. So why don't you dive into that a little bit more? Yeah, so here at Origin, we want to build protocols that will enable the sharing economy to move to the blockchain. Uh, and what we're doing here is we want to enable other companies to build decentralized marketplaces. So imagine a future where the uh, next Uber, the next Airbnb, the next Fiverr, Elance, all of these two-sided marketplaces can now be hosted on the blockchain and they can be totally peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, there are a lot of benefits when you can actually um, create decentralized marketplaces versus these traditional uh, centralized intermediaries. <clears throat> the three that we focus on the most are one, the ability to reduce transaction fees between buyer and seller. Um, two, reduce censorship across these networks uh, and allow these uh, goods and services to be in countries or regions where they may otherwise be regulated heavily or even banned outright. Uh, and three, how do we actually contribute and give back to the early participants in the network? So the early suppliers, whether they're the first 100 hosts on the future Airbnb, or the first 100 drivers on the next version of Uber, or the first 100 contractors on one of these other um, services like a Fiverr or an Elance. Um, how do we actually give them the right incentives and also give them a, a piece of what we're all building here together? Yeah, no, that's, that's really incredible stuff. So I know that you guys have a number of partners that are already working with you guys, but I would love to hear directly from you sort of what are the things that you're most excited about, um, whether it's projects that are partnered with you today uh, and also projects that you see in the future that will also work with the Origin Protocol. Yeah, so I think a big part of what we're doing here is we want to build a very developer centric platform, right? And as a platform and as a protocol, we're only successful if we actually have customers of the protocol. And to that extent, we're looking to partner with a variety of different companies um, across the world in different verticals with different use cases. Um, how can we all form this common language, um, this common set of standards to describe uh, listings, to describe user identity and reputation, and ultimately, um, describe a new way of doing business, this peer-to-peer -peer way of transacting on the blockchain. Uh, so we have a number of different partners committed to building on Origin. Um, we have uh, customers and partners in the home sharing vertical, for example, Btoken. Uh, we have Kenya out of Australia. They're uh, similar to a uh, decentralized Fiverr. Uh, we have a, a bunch of new partners uh, being signed every single week. And the goal here is to get to, um, you know, at least 100 partners, if not more, worldwide by the time we're able to release the V1 of our platform onto mainnet. Um, one of the things that we're really thinking about here also is that um, contrary to today's world where there's one regional monopoly, perhaps, uh, for each category. So in the United States, you have uh, Uber and Lyft and Rideshare, and you have Airbnb for home share. Um, you have equivalents in other countries. So in China, Didi is um, the rideshare 
King, and then in other markets it might be Ola or Grab. But there's this huge centralization of um, power, centralization of capital, and also user data. Uh, in tomorrow's world, if we've done a really great job building our platform as well as our developer community, there will be many more uh, niche uh, localized uh, sites where they may all be tackling different variants of the same vertical. Uh, so take home sharing, for example, maybe that's not just one Airbnb equivalent, maybe that's one uh, decentralized application around um, short-term rentals and another one around two to three month exchange student listings, another one around corporate apartments, uh, or another one that's specific to a market that Airbnb is currently banned uh, and not allowed to operate in. Very good stuff. So let's just take for an example that I'm looking to build a decentralized Uber using Origin, right? So yeah, through what that will look like, and then why is the token important for the project? Yeah. So um, right now we're currently working on our developer platform, which has uh, two main components. It's uh, Origin.js, which is going to be our JavaScript API, as well as the corresponding smart contracts. Um, you know, fairly complicated architecture around. Um, replicating and or making better features for tomorrow's decentralized marketplaces. So again, around user identity, reputation, escrow, deposits, um, whatever it may be. Um, so <clears throat> as a new developer, if you wanted to build on top of our platform, um, you would be able to interface directly with the blockchain uh, using Origin.js when it's available. Uh, the reason that we've chosen this strategy is that we know uh, worldwide, JavaScript is the most popular programming language. Almost every single software engineer uh, knows how to use JavaScript and the idea is to make it super easy to use our libraries uh, and abstract away a lot of the complexity. Um, not that many engineers uh, are very well versed in Solidity. Um, probably even fewer engineers have experience spinning up IPFS nodes uh, and gateways. So to the extent that we can take away this complexity while still offering the advantages and the benefits of the blockchain to these developers, um, then we as a platform and developers and entrepreneurs are um, both able to become quite successful. Um, so uh, typical um, development cycle, um, once we launch Origin.js uh, and corresponding smart contracts, uh, is that a developer would um, be able to look at our open source code, um, use Origin.js, call a couple uh, JavaScript functions, uh, which then essentially um, launch and manage a lot of these smart contracts uh, for their businesses. Got it. Um, and then the second question you were talking about was the purposes of origin token. Uh, so we think of this as um, really two large uh, use cases for our platform. The first one is all around incentives, both positive incentives to create behavior that we want, as well as negative disincentives uh, to prevent malicious behavior. And then secondly, um, as an early form of governance on the platform. Going into a little bit more detail on the incentive side, um, we know that um, bootstrapping a marketplace is notoriously difficult. Um, we've seen this with many different businesses in the traditional world that require tens of millions of dollars of venture capital funding, sometimes hundreds or even billions of dollars of capital. Uh, if we're thinking about building this platform of multiple marketplaces, how do we actually solve this cold start problem? And so origin token will be used as an incentive for many of these early adopters. Um, we will be able to provide um, origin token um, as a way for uh, referral rewards or as a um, mechanism to get people to try out the platform. On the negative disincentive side, um, we also have to think about how as a decentralized platform, we're able to take care of problems like spam uh, or fake listings or other malicious behavior. <laughs> so origin token is going to be used as a staking mechanism to ensure that listings are high quality and valid and actually contributing to the health of the network. Um, and so you can imagine a case where I'm a business that has you know, tens of thousands of um, bikes, for example, and to move that, those uh, listings to the origin platform, I'll be required to stake a certain amount of token to make sure that these uh, listings are actually legitimate. And if there are complaints from the community, um, then there's the possibility that I would forfeit some of this token. Um, and then the second area that we think about a lot for origin token is around governance of the platform. Um, this is a pretty well known model, so I won't go into too much detail there, but essentially, you know, as a token holder, you're going to be able to have um, some influence in terms of um, what product and technical direction uh, we undertake in the future um, or other stuff around like business policies and strategies as well. Very good. And so how far along are you guys, right? So talk to me about major milestones you guys have accomplished um, so far. 
Yeah, so uh, on the technical and product side, we have an alpha at demo.originprotocol.com. I'd encourage a lot of people to try it out. It's a great technology demonstration on how you can actually already today have a marketplace that's built completely on decentralized technology. So this is just the Ethereum testnet as well as IPFS. Um, <clears throat> from here, we plan to make um, quite a few iterations in the next six months. So in Q2, we're going to be very, very actively working on uh, origin.js, as mentioned previously, as well as much more of the smart contract architecture uh, and really building out a number of features that will uh, power these future platforms. Um, and uh, the goal is to actually have a functional version uh, on mainnet by uh, Q3 of this year. On the um, business roadmap, um, we're very excited to continue hiring and growing our core team, as well as getting contributions from our extended team. So uh, we have hundreds of people uh, in our uh, new Discord uh, ch channel. We have you know, almost 20,000 Telegram members in our community now as well. And we want to encourage uh, more and more participants in the community to take part in this very audacious, ambitious mission that we're undertaking. And so if there are you know, um, contract engineers or open source contributors, we want them to be able to contribute to our code base. So there's going to be a very active, uh, both full-time recruitment strategy, as well as um, this goal of shepherding contributors from all over the world to help further this mission. Uh, on the partnership side, we're, again, looking to rapidly scale up and uh, get the number of partners committed to building on the platform um, higher and higher with the goal of at least 100 partners signed up um, by the time we launch uh, V1 in Q3. Matt, that's amazing. So thank you again so much for taking the time to kind of run through your project. Really, really exciting. Is there anything else that you'd like to share before we sign off here? Yeah, I think one thing that uh, I just really want to share is that um, as a founder of Origin Protocol, I've just been continually um, humbled and feel really blessed that so many people in the community uh, have taken an interest um, in what we're doing. And so we're not you know, going to be able to pull off this crazy, crazy idea without you guys. Um, and with all things blockchain, it's very, very much community driven, right? We need believers uh, in our mission and contributors to our mission across different facets and roles. Um, again, mentioning uh, folks that can contribute on the software side, but also community building all over the world, right? We've had people um, help us translate our um, website into 17 different languages. This is all community driven. Um, and so this is just a very, very humbling experience and we just feel um, so fortunate um, to be able to, you know, push our vision into the world, um, but also make this a very collective vision. Um, and I think what has really helped is that we're really striking a chord um, with glo the global community, right? So buyers and suppliers all over the world that have firsthand experience as either consumers in the sharing economy or suppliers in the sharing economy. Um, this is a very, very relevant and top of mind um, problem space, I think, for everyone, um, not just here in the United States, but all over Asia, Europe, Australia, Latin America, um, Africa, everywhere, um, people have had firsthand knowledge of the sharing economy and how it can be both very beneficial to people's lives, but also that there are many areas that um, can be fixed and improved. And uh, we hope that uh, Origin Protocol, um, as well as our community, our strong developer partners uh, and entrepreneurs building on top of our platform, can be that first step in bringing forward these decentralized marketplaces uh, and really fundamentally changing the way that people uh, buy and sell on uh, the internet. Matt, again, thank you so very much. This is quite the ambitious project you guys are working on, but I have my full faith and confidence, you guys. Thank you again for taking the time to be on the blockchain brief, and um, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care.